What's happening people? Today is a very special day indeed, a monumental day. I have taken delivery of my new Italjet Dragster and I'm pretty excited to say the least. You may have seen a couple of weeks ago I put a video out where I did the first UK test ride and review on the Dragster 125. Uh, that was a yellow one but that wasn't mine, that was just a lone bike. This one is mine, all mine. And I have gone for, well I won't tell you the colour just yet, we'll, we'll have a look when we open it. But this is the 200cc model. And yeah, let's just get on with the unboxing. Please, wicked, wicked, jungle is massive. Wicked, wicked, prodigy massive. Wow. Wicked, wicked, wow. jungle is massive. Wow. Wicked, wicked, wow. jungle is Come to my atom. Icky, icky. General, you come to my atom. Icky, icky. Jungle is massive, you are my atom. Icky, icky. General, you come to my atom. Wicked, wicked. Jungle is massive. Wicked, wicked. Jungle is massive. Wicked, wicked. Jungle is massive. Right, there we have it folks. Behold in the glory of my new Italjet Dragster. The world's only hyper scooter. The Lamborghini of the scooter world is finally taking its place in my garage next to my original Italjet Dragster from the 1990s. I've been waiting for this moment for quite some time and I can't quite describe just how happy and excited I am that it is finally here. Now, if you were one of the 499 people worldwide lucky enough to secure one of the first edition dragsters, let's take a look at a couple of the extras that you get for being a first edition customer. The first one being this Italjet dragster branded rucksack, which has the Italjet motif on the front there, and you also have the Italjet dragster logos on the straps themselves. Inside you have various compartments. I think this could actually fit a small laptop in as well, which is quite handy. And it is somewhat weatherproof because this isn't a material. It's like a plastic um, covering on the, on the outside and it's quite hard as well. So um, one of the only downfalls of the Dragster is obviously its lack of storage. It's designed to be a sports scooter in the same way that a uh, Ferrari or Lamborghini doesn't really have much storage. So coming with a uh, hard shell backpack like this that's also somewhat weather resistant is quite a nice little touch for those first edition customers. We also get the Dragster branded dust cover as well. Um, now this isn't an all weather cover, you could use it outside if you wanted to, um, but it's not going to protect it from the rain, it is not a waterproof cover. This is a dust cover designed to keep the dust off of your dragster 
while it's in storage so again a lovely little touch just there the logo you see on the bag here is also replicated on the cover itself on on both sides of the cover the other piece that first edition customers get is this wonderful little plaque down here which gives you your build number out of the 499 first editions worldwide mine being number 274 which is also signed by Massimo Tartarini himself the president of Italjet and the person who designed this amazing machine little fact for you and something I'm incredibly proud of this little plaque you see down here was actually my design um, I've been incredibly proud to have been involved in this project since about 2018 and I sent four different designs for the limited edition plaque and that was the one that Massimo and the Italjet team chose. So as I say that's something that I'm quite proud about the fact there's a little bit of me knocking around all over the world on these first edition dragsters. The black um, officially called black magnesium um, I like to say black black and gold was my suggestion. I've always been a big fan of the old John Player special race cars and race bikes from from back in the day and that's where my inspiration for this colorway came from. So that's the bits that you get as a first edition customer. Let's take a little look at some of the bits on here that you also get on the normal production models. Now, one bit that I especially like is the key design. Now, not only is it quite a cool little flip key, it has a nice little logo on the key itself just there, which denotes Italjet's history. For those of you that don't know, Italjet have actually been making motorcycles since 1959. And it is one of the only motorcycle companies in the world. In fact, I'd go as far to say one of the only automotive manufacturers in the world that's been operating for that length of time that is still owned by the original family, the Tartarini family. And that, in my opinion, is quite an achievement. You may notice the key has a bit of a strange design to it now the reason it looks like this is it's designed to look like the frame so again another nice little touch there on the key itself that it replicates that famous frame design the tool bag again quite a geeky thing uh, but obviously you get an Italjet branded toolkit in there but the toolkit itself is incredibly well put together now in most scooter toolkits you'll probably get a screwdriver a couple of spanners in this one i'm not entirely sure why we have two of these but i'm sure that will come to me they are spark plug wrenches two different sizes but they can also obviously be used for bolts so um, you've got two of those you get a selection of spanners oh just drop that make sure i don't scratch the bike that would be an absolute nightmare we have a 8 and a 10, a 13 and a 15, and a 12 and a 14. You obviously get your double-ended screwdriver, as so, which is handy. And you also get quite a selection of Allen keys. One, two, three, four, five different Allen keys. So there we go. Thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. I keep noticing all these little features that I uh, I really like, the, you know, the, the gold stitching in the seat that goes with the, the gold finishing on the bike. They even went to the extent they could have just fitted generic shock absorbers across the across the whole range. But if you have got one of the black and gold first editions, even the shock absorbers have gold finishing on them. Again, lovely touch, lovely attention to detail. I also want to change the exhaust on there as well. I've not decided which exhaust to go with yet. I do quite like the, the Aki exhaust that uh, uh, Talget are doing. There are a host of other options out there as well. So we'll wait and see where we go with the exhaust side of things. I do want to lose this air box and replace it with an open filter at the back here. So that's another task at hand that I want to get cracking with. I think that's just going to give it a much cleaner look. And on that note, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you can, drop a little like on there for me. Love you forever. Leave a little comment down below. Always enjoy reading those. We'll get back to you ASAP. If you want to be an absolute legend, please do subscribe to the channel. It means a lot and helps me bring you more and more of these videos in the future. But for now, as always, peace and pistons.